Okay, welcome to this short set of notes on GCF to ABC method. GCF being greatest common factor uh, to the ABC method. The ABC method is the way that we solve quadratic equations. So, last class uh, we talked about the shortcut. And the shortcut um, but the shortcut only works when your a is 1. So if we look at this particular <coughs> function here, you'll see that your a is not 1. Okay, it's 2. So this lesson is on what can we do about it. Is there something, because you guys all saw how easy the shortcut was and how easy, how much easier and less work the shortcut was compared to doing the entire long way of solving quadratics. So any time we can get our a to be 1, you'll want to do that. So here's a case where our a is not 1, but there's something that we can do to the problem to get our a to be 1. Do you notice? If you guess that you could just divide everything by 2, then you're correct. That is called, that's, that's really what we've been doing this entire time with GCF. Greatest common factor is just dividing out something that's common from all of them. Since the 2 is common from all of them, we can just divide everything by 2. So just like GCF, we write the common factor on the outside, then write our leftovers. 2 divided by 2, 1. x squared. 10 divided by 2, 5. x. 12 divided by 2, 6. And so now we're left with a quadratic equation that our a is 1. And so now we can do that shortcut. So this is merely just a tool. Uh, it's nothing really new you're learning. It's kind of taking what you have learned and applying it to certain types of problems. So it's a tool that you can use to make your A1 so that you don't have to do that long way of solving the problem. So from here we do, we solve the problem just like normal. So A, B, and C. A is 1, B is 5, C is 6. Okay. A times C is 6, and B is 5. So we need two numbers that when multiplied will be 6, with those same two numbers adding to be 5. Can you figure it out? If you said the answer is 2 and 3, then you're correct. And we can check this. 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, the shortcut tells us that we, uh, well, I told you the shortcut is for to go from here, draw your dead cartoon eyes. Remember, your dead cartoon eyes are sets of parentheses with X's in them. They look like eyeballs with, you know, dead cartoons have the X's in their eyes. So the two sets of parentheses with your X's in them, and then all you do is bring down your numbers. Positive 2, positive 3. The last thing is remember this 2 that we factored out in the very beginning? That just has to be attached to the end. So it looks like this. And that's your answer. So here's a way and to solve a problem where our a is not 1, but still be able to use the shortcut because we're able to factor out a 2. Okay. <clears throat> now, the other type, if we scroll down to number 2 over here, the other type is where the problem is not even a quadratic equation. So if we look here, not only are we going to want to divide by 4, see if we can divide everything by 4 to get our a1, but this isn't even a quadratic equation. Nay, this is a cubic. So th in order for it to be a quadratic, this would have to be an x squared. So you can probably figure out what you're going to need to do. If this needs to be an x squared, one thing you could also notice is the other common factor. Not only is a 4 going to come out, but the other thing that's common from all of them is that they all have x's. Okay? 
So how many X's can you take? Three, two, and one. The most that you can take from all of them is just one. And then, of course, we go ahead and write our leftovers. Uh, dividing. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. I took an x away, so there's now x squared. Negative 28 divided by 4 is negative 7. Took an x away, so there's just 1. 40 divided by 4 is 10. Took an x away, now there's no x's. And now, once again, we're left with a quadratic equation where our a is 1. So we can use the shortcut here. Even on a problem that before looked like this, you probably would have no clue how to do that, uh, or you'd try doing the long way, we can do the shortcut. So, A, B, C. A is 1, B is negative 7, C is 10. A times C is 10, B is negative 7. So I need two things that when multiplied, will give us 10, and we'll add to be negative 7. If you guessed negative 5 and negative 2, then you're correct. Negative 5 times negative 2, negative times negative, is a positive 10. Negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. So we have our two numbers. Since our a is 1, we can do the shortcut. The shortcut tells us to do our dead cartoon eyes with the x's in them. And then just bring down our numbers, negative 5, negative 2. And remember this 4x we factored out in the very beginning? We just need to attach it to the end. And you're done. Now obviously this is not going to work for every problem. So if we look at down below, a problem like number 6, notice how the a is 5. And you're thinking to yourself, well, can I just divide everything by 5? Well, you have to look at it. Can you divide all of these by 5 evenly? And the question is no. You cannot divide these by 5 evenly. So this, you can't divide by 5. So the 5 is going to have to stay there. But you can factor out some x's. With x to the 4th, x to the 3rd, and x squared, the most amount of x's that I can take out is 2. So all I'm going to do is rewrite the problem taking away two x's. And so now I have a quadratic equation that I can solve. Unfortunately, I cannot make the a1, and I'm going to have to do it the long way. So that's, uh, that's the only tough part with some of these problems. So there is a practice. Go on to Canvas. There is a practice on there. Try to do a few problems. I'm not asking you to do all of them, but try to do a few problems there. The answer key is also posted on Canvas where you can check your answers as you go through this. We'll, go, we'll finish talking about this next class, and if you have any questions, please just remember to, to let me know. All right? Hope this helps.